We're just waiting for the tide to turn. I can see fish tailing. I'm, I'm a bit distracted by these tails that are popping up in the air over there. We're just waiting for the tide to turn and these fish will start feeding a lot more vigorously. They're golden trevally. And mixed in with them, a queen fish and hopefully snub-nosed dart or permit. At the moment we've got some tailing goldies around us, but because the tide hasn't turned, they're not really feeding vigorously. As the tide turns and starts to move in over the flats, the fish will move in and really start to get active. And we should see some great action then. Alan finally hooked up after we had all had a series of frustrating refusals on all the best flies we thought would do the job. We suspected the fish to be a golden trevally rather than the most highly prized permit and Alan treated it fairly casually. You yeah, didn't hesitate in eating that, Peter. No, no, no. What fly was that? That little prawn pattern. All right. Took it off the bottom. Yeah, I could see them here and uh, I cast in front of them, let them by about six feet or so, and then he just went straight for it. Bingo. Excellent. There's two fish there. Geez, they go a long way in the shallows, don't they? Oh, unbelievable. Only one, only one way they can go. Out. Straight out. It's such a, such a slogging duo fight, isn't it? I mean, you, yeah. you think you've stopped them and then they'll peel off another 20 or 30 metres and then stop again and then... He's got about uh, 140 metres out of space, 100 metres. And still going. Still going. Yeah, they're a good fish. Yeah. There's nothing quite like shallow water fly fishing for fish you can see feeding. No. no it's, it's really exciting stuff. And you've got to so, try and make the cast right. And the cast has to be spot on and you get refusal after refusal and you don't know why. Everything seems to be right. Then finally they'll turn and eat one. Very exciting. And there's none of this up and down fighting a fish pulling them up out of the deep. <laughs> Look at the angle of that line, it just goes straight, straight out, out to down. the horizon. There he goes again. Certainly stopped everything else moving on the flat. Yep. <laughs> Shut things down a little bit, didn't it? Heading for the mangroves on the other side, that's probably <laughs> 250 metres away. <laughs> was it a goldie or one of those other things? No, it's not one of those other things, it's a goldie. Gold, this wasn't blind casting, right? Yeah. I saw the ripples in front of you. This little river ring, just the very tip of its tail broke the surface. It's yeah. the tiniest little swirl and bingo. Fish, mate. I don't think he's that big, Steve. Um, 12, 14 pounds sort of thing. Somewhere around yeah. there, maybe. I, I sort of didn't get a good look at him. I could see him swimming along and the tails come out of the water. Yeah. Certainly wasn't anywhere near the size of those fish we seen yesterday. Right. I would love like to, to get a hold of one of those things. <laughs> yeah. Sub nose dart, oyster crackers, whatever you, know, whatever you want to call them. Pumpkin heads. It goes to the flats. And uh, the fish didn't hesitate in taking it, eh? Didn't they? No. Did it tail on it? No, it's not. It's, it's a, a goldie. Tail. Yes, it no, is. It's, it's a, a permit. permit. It's a permit. Uh, it is. A... It's a permit. He's a little way off. You don't want to go back to the boat and get my camera. Get the camera. That fish is about 10, 11 pound. Hold him. Cameras. My first pumpkin head. In fact, a lot of the times where we, we see gold. And they've got the, um, the what spikes. What a beautiful fish. They've got the spikes up on the back like a queen fish. Up in here. Mm -hmm. We can never get him yeah, to stand are. them up. Because they are a species of dart. The fly comes in tight against you, so you don't... That's well done, mate. That's, uh, to my knowledge, the first uh, 
sight cast court permit in Australia on fly on the flats waiting. So, mate, congratulations. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, that's, that's excellent. Yeah, I'm yeah, uh, really good. It's always good to, to do something the first time to keep ahead of everybody else, you know. And uh, when these things are, are involved, it's a it's a real achievement because they're, they're a tough fish to get a bite yeah, out certainly of. Certainly a know? challenge, aren't they? They're a big challenge. And uh, I think uh, you know, guys like yourself, keen fly fishermen, uh, really from all over the world, would give their right arm or their casting arm to come and catch one of these things. So, mate, congratulations once again. Thanks very much. Good. Grab him by your tail and uh, point him into the current and let him go, eh? Okay, fish, off you go. 